Alrighty then. Okay. Hina mam kima na ta tai ham be hui in ke kam shrong kai am Charlie man ta tham ba hu mam betchetan school mi an na ka ath dena ban dena to am hi. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sierra Charlie or Casey. Um, I am currently attending NACA and I'm a sophomore. <laughs> they called her Mrs. Longsleeve, but she didn't particularly mind. The article of clothing stuck around longer than certain people had. In fact, it had bought her more comfort than a lover's embrace, the way it clung to her curves as if slightly reassuring that it would still be there when she woke up, though that's not always the case. This long sleeve kept her darkest secrets, more than she can say for her best friend. It had been the one to wipe her tears in the midst of the night. Unfortunately, the long sleeve was only a marionette, just something to be controlled by. She was truly alone. The boy who had lied to her, the girl she thought she loved, the sad song that left her some hope, she thought her new dress was the one. Soon, they stopped calling her Mrs. Longsleeve and ignored her present. The soft tone and melody that was once her voice became a broken record, constantly asking for advice. Her brown eyes, the color of bitter coffee, had turned dull and boring. Guess that's why everyone left. Her seemingly bipolar hair color ranging from sun-kissed to dandelion. Guess that's why everyone lost interest. The shiny ebony shade upon her fingertips accentuated the once soft hands that had gave away too much trust. She was truly alone. They called her Mrs. Longsleeve again, this time with a hint of malice. For the first time, the material scratched against her neck, leaving it red and tainted. For the first time, the material clung too tight, leaving her breathless. For the first time, the material had become unattractive, making her ugly. For the first time, the material unraveled, leaving her exposed. For the first time, the material became too small, making her feel too big. She hated herself. She was truly alone. Soon, they stopped calling her Mrs. Longsleeve and forgot about her presence. Her thoughts were less than innocent. She wondered when the day would come when she could finally breathe. Yeah. 